Hello friends, welcome to another window DAX series video. These window functions are newly introduced in Power BI. I already did videos on offset and window function. Now there is another function uh, in this window DAX functions called index. Let's get to Power BI and take a look at this index function. So here in Power BI, I have a sales by color. And uh, let's say if we wanted to find out uh, the top um, selling color or the least selling color, how we can easily do that. So let's start writing uh, a measure. Let's call it uh, top sales, uh, top or bottom, doesn't matter what name we want to give. So what we can do is calculate. I will explain what this index function does, but let's first write the measure index. And now we have a position. What the position mean in the index is it's always an absolute position. The position in the index function is an absolute uh, position. So if my take my color, if the table is ordered by the color, then the in this particular case, first color will be black and the last color will be yellow. Uh, if I give the minus one position, then it will return the yellow. If I give the uh, positive one, it will give me black. And then the second is blue, third is multi. So it's always an absolute position given the order by what we have. So let's take a look how does that work. So if I want the sales of the first color, then what will I will give the position as one. And then again, summarize. Uh, do check out the first video why we are using summarize here. All selected sales and product color because what we want is we want it to be our sales table, which is a fact table. Um, summarize it by color uh, or group it by color. Uh, and the reason why I'm using summarize is to uh, exclude the blanks and do check out the first video. I will post the link of that video in the description of this video. And then the next parameter we have is order by. Again, the order by we are giving is um, how we want the table to be sorted. So in this case, it would be color because we want it to be first color. And I'm not giving the partition by again, we are not partition one will come. Let's say if we have a category and subcategories, if we're really interested in that, but we are not right now. Now, if we use this new measure in our visual, uh, what we are getting here is we are getting the top sales, which is um, 900,000. And that is based on the color, which is black. So it's not the top sales we are getting. What we're getting is the sales of the first color uh, given sales of the first color because in the order by we said we wanted to buy the sort by color and that's why we are getting the sales of blank black if i go negative one what i would get is the sales of um, the yellow color which is four nine seven eight one two five again keep in mind we are not getting the top sales or the bottom sales in based on the amount, but we are getting it is based on the color. The first color, because in absolute position order by product color, the first one is black color and the last one is the yellow color. Uh, now, question comes in mind is like how this is different than if we can use min x or max x or some, some other ways we can achieve this. The requirement here is that we want the top sales not based on the color, but based on if we sort this uh, table by some sales, I want my top sales to be $900,000 and my bottom sales is $5,000. So what we will do in that case is, if I try to use the measure here, we cannot use that. And just keep in mind, in the order by, we cannot use the measures because one will say, okay, the measure is called some sales. Sorry, just wanna use that. So order by column sum sales could not be found in the index relation parameter. So we cannot use the measures in the order by, it has to be a column. 
but some sales is a major. What we need to do is we need to extend a little bit our um, summarize. So we're going to add a column. I'm not going to talk about what add columns is going to do. There are tons of video on that. So basically what we're going to do is we're saying we are adding a, a, a column into our summarize table, uh, which is grouped by color. And then we are getting this adding a column, which is at the rate of sales, some sales. So basically we're getting a sales of each color. And now since this has been added as a column, I can use that in my order by, so which is sale. So you have to put a comma here. And let's see if uh, this works. Here you go. So what we have here is, so what we have here is now, the minus one we give and based that give us the last now the our table here is ordered by the sales so if you order this by sales and our minus one because uh, this is ascending if we change it to descending it will give us the um, it will give us the 5234 because that is the lowest so basically now if we sorted it descending, so minus one is the last value, which is 5,234. So that is our bottom sales. And if I give the one here, and now I use that descending, I will get the top sales. Depending on ascending and descending, how you're sorting it, your absolute position will change, right? In this case, now my if I give the positive one and descending, so if this tab table is sorted by uh, some sales amount so the first position is nine hundred thousand dollars and that's why we're getting the top sales the question is like okay this is great but uh, I could have achieved the top sales using the min x and the max x those functions are already available why I need to use the uh, a index function let's first check the max x like how I would have done if the index functions was not working but uh, if index function was not there, so I could have done max x uh, all product color. Let's um, what's um, product color for example, and then I should have said some sales. So if I now we see this, we will get the same amount as nine hundred thousand, which is the result. And if I use the min x. Uh, all product this will give me 5234 and uh, here you go so if min x and max x can achieve achieve the same result as index getting the top sales at the bottom sales or we could have used the top n function also to achieve the similar result so how this index is different and what another value it adds in our solution so keep in mind uh, if i go back to our index function and let's create a table in the model using the index and see what does that res uh, returns us. So I'm going to go to modeling, new table, call it top sales table. And then we copy this uh, code here, in just the index one, because what it returns is it returns a table. And let's uh, look at this, uh, apply this and look at the table. I'm going to so it returns the color and the sales. And if I give um, minus one, it will return us the color with the which has the lowest sale, that is our white color. So now we know, whereas with the max x and the min x, if we have to achieve this, first we, we can get the top color, uh, top color sales or the bottom color sales, depending on min x, then we have to find a way what that color is. And uh, previously, if we have to get um, what is the minimum sales across all the colors and what that color name is, then we have to write two DAX functions or we have to write one function and concatenate two uh, DAX measures. But with this, we can do this in one single measure. Uh, let's go back to our measure and how, to how we can achieve that. Uh, so now we know what the absolute position is. Um, 
some sales index how this position works it's always absolute um, position given the order by and then get the last or the first in that particular order by um, column to get the both the name of the color and the value we just change this measure a little bit what I'm going to do is instead of calculate because we said give us a sum sales we can use concatenate x here and concatenate x what we can say is color that is name of the column and concatenate it with let's say our dollar sales I'm going to format it to So what we see here is now black which is name of the color and that as the top sales and if I give it a negative one so in my concatenation because the index is returning all the columns and uh, whatever is given in the order by and partition by so we are getting the color white and 5234 again it's an absolute position so I don't have to write multiple calculations to perform uh, what my top uh, how much is the top amount uh, and what is the top seller color or the what is the bottom amount or the lowest amount sales amount and the color which contributed to the lowest amount and what I did is I wrote another uh, full-fledged function because this does not make sense to show it in here uh, but uh, uh, what I did is I created a let's say if you want to show this is in a KPI card uh, what your top selling color is and how much that contribute towards the total share uh, of the uh, sales then instead of returning color and currency here what I can simply do I can um, in the concatenate X I can really write this whole depending on what message I want to give so basically the name of the color uh, white for example it's a top selling it's like our bottom selling depending um, uh, what we're trying to achieve here so let's go the top selling so we say uh, color uh, whatever the name of the color in this case black color is a top selling color with total sales of the sales amount and it has what I did here is um, further enhanced our um, calculated the percentage share of that top color so in that particular case what I'm doing here is in the divide I just want to make sure that I format it correctly so easy to read uh, so what I'm saying here is uh, whatever our top color is and what the sales of that top color and then I'm saying okay whatever the sales is of the top color divide that by all sales let's say our all sales is a 30 million dollar and the top selling product is um, uh, 900 thousand dollar and whatever that market share is that we can show that so now that's a mess that's if that's the case here you go I've, now it's getting them let's put this in a in a card visual so what we're getting here is black color is a top selling color with total sales of this and it has a 30 percent market share and let's say if i want the bottom one with the similar scenario and uh, i go minus one so now our message is a little bit different There you go so white color is the least selling color with total sales of this and it has 0.02 percent market share as you saw we can also use window function to achieve the same functionality as index function in index function we can only give one position it's always absolute negative give us the lowest and the positive give us the top depending on how the order by is uh, and what column we are ordering it by descending or ascending whereas window function give us uh, the possibility that we can give the absolute and relative position uh, do check out running total video on window function which I posted few days ago and also window function give us the range that the start and end whereas with the index function we can only have the one uh, absolute position in the upcoming video on the next video we will further dig into the index function we will look into how to get the top selling product or color under each product category and what is the share of that color as uh, the sales of that color 
under each category. Do subscribe my channel. Until next video, have a great day. Thanks for watching. Bye for now. Thank you.